Welcome back. Uh, we're going to continue on our little digestive run here with some of our digestive models. Uh, this is a great little plaque because it kind of takes us through some uh, multiple structures, the stomach, the small intestine, the gallbladder, the liver, uh, that we see the spleen over here on the side. Uh, but more importantly, we could see some macro and micro structures uh, through these glands and organs. So we're going to start uh, at the liver. The liver is pretty straightforward. Uh, look to another video to kind of go through the different lobes of the liver and the vasculature of the liver. But for here, what we really want to see is we can see um, our gallbladder moving through here with its associated duct. So we'll start with our gallbladder. Remember, the gallbladder is simply a storage tank for bile. The, one of the functions of the liver is going to be to produce that bile. It'll move down through our right and left hepatic duct, move to the common hepatic duct, travel up the cystic duct, and then kind of store that bile until it's signaled with CCK and other hormones to be released down the common bile duct. Now again, gallbladder, cystic duct, hepatic duct, right and left hepatic duct to the common bile duct. Now notice that the common bile duct does drop down and eventually connect into the main pancreatic duct. Uh, it forms an ampulla. The ampulla is known as the hepatopancreatic ampulla. It does have a name uh, known as the ampulla of Vader. There is a ring of muscle, a sphincter, that's going to uh, open and close to permit the movement of bile and those pancreatic enzymes uh, to move into the small intestine. That sphincter is also known as the hepatopancreatic sphincter, but again, it has a name known as the sphincter of Adi. Now, we're going to push both these ducts past the ampulla into the small intestine via a Papilla, it is known as the major duodenal papilla, where the accessory duct enters into the small intestine, it is the minor uh, duodenal papilla. Now, into the pancreas, some general anatomy, we have our head, our body, our tail. Main pancreatic duct is this big, long, white duct that swoops through and down the pancreas. It is also known as the duct of Worsung. We have a branching off that duct going superior. This is known as our accessory duct, also known as the duct of Santorini. Now, the duodenum, this is where we're going to see the small intestine, the small, the, not sorry, not small intestine, but the pancreas is going to move into the small intestine right here in the duodenum. So we're uh, inferior and posterior to the stomach. We see some nice internal anatomy of the small intestine. These are plecae circularis. So this kind of shows a change from the stomach where we have these rugae, these folds, that's gonna allow the stomach to really uh, expand its way through to allow for food expansion. Uh, for uh, permit a lot of food to move in here. Now, again, a change in that mucosa and those circular folds, those plecae circulars, is gonna allow that chyme mixture from the stomach to really corkscrew, slow its way down to allow for those villi and those microvilli, really those microvilli to absorb those nutrients within the jejunum of the small intestine. So this pretty much takes care of this model right here, really focusing on the gallbladder, the pancreas, and some really neat uh, structures, some macro structures of the duodenum, the small intestine.